Uh, deepest condolences, uh, Ms. Harden. It, it took more than 474 days after your son's murder, his, him being killed, for an investigation to even begin. Um, I want to give you an opportunity to, to, to respond um, to that, why, why, the, the fact that it took so long for you to get information. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, uh, it was a beginning and it's the corruption. It was a cover up. And yeah. what did they have to do, you know, to what extent to validate what they did? What, what were they going to say? The narrative, all that. And just lies on top of lies. They said so many that they forgot what they said to where they stumbled over their own feet. It was just so obvious to cover up they did. And you're going to be holding, the family is going to be um, demanding uh, justice for Ronald. Um, you're meeting with the NAACP tomorrow um, for that rally. Who, do, you, do you know who else you're going to be there with? And are you planning on meeting with any um, city or state officials? Oh, yes. Uh, we're going to be there with the uh, ACLU, uh, New Orleans ACLU. We're going to have uh, NDA, NAACP. Uh, Baton Rouge branch and uh, several celebrities are uh, right now. My mind is going, yeah. um, uh, but it's, uh, it's so exciting. I, I'm, I'm just so elated just to have this opportunity and the fact that we're here uh, at this platform, uh, the horrific murder of my son. Yeah. And, it, and what do you make? Yeah. And, and what do you I mean, I don't even know how I would respond as a, as a mom um, to the idea that these people could beat Taze and essentially torture your son. And nothing's happened to any of them. We, I'm going through the list of what happened. The, the officer, John Clary, who denied that he had a body, there was a body cam video when there was, lied about it and claimed that your son was a threat to flee. No discipline. Um, the, the officer Hollingsworth, who struck and, and stunned your son, was recorded talking, bragging, basically, about beating him. They intended to fire him, but he died in a car crash. Um, you had the, 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 the officer Dakota Moses DeMoss, who jolted your son with a stun gun, face termination, but in a separate incident, not even this one. Trooper Corey York, seen on the video, dragging your son by his ankle shackles, 50-hour suspension. Your thoughts on the, the fact that they just got away with it? And this is, this is the fact that this is what they do, and they're so good at what they do, they've gotten away with it for hundreds of years. And it's, it's, how do you justify, how, it's, for me, it's like, why are we still talking about murder? Who's clearly seen, this is clearly seen on TV. How do you keep rumbling through, how are we gonna get these guys off the hook? You know, I, I don't even understand that language no more. It's like, it's like, we're not even speaking. It's like, no one's hearing. We see it's clearly murder. What do you need to do? I mean, what is, how do you justify murder? What is 50 hours, you know, of, of, of administrative leave? What the heck is that? I mean, and, what, and is, Mr. what is it that, you know, Reeves could allow? We met with him and all the time he was planning to retire. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like, it's a, it's a big old game and they don't give a damn about what the hell they're doing to us, to people like us, to families like us. You know, and, and the fact that we're, we're not talking about little people. We're talking about some big folks here. And it goes up and up and up. 